I feel the fear towards HIV is still present because we do not understand fully what it is. <laughs> I have this fascination with pigeons and I started filming them so often on my Instagram. How many do you have for your ID? As of now, I have about... I can't remember. I, I lost track after a thousand. Many of us view pigeons as dirty. It kind of mirrors what people think of us, of people living HIV. I was diagnosed with HIV when I was 19, and my world just kind of stopped. I felt like I lost a bit of myself. Every day, I'll look at myself in the mirror and ask myself, what do I do now? One of the bigger life questions that I asked myself was, am I going through this alone? That's when I realised that, you know, other people are experiencing this as well. I came to that conclusion that, okay, I'm going to continue living and I'm going to spread awareness about living with the condition. HIV medicine in the past was a whole slew of pills and there were countless side effects. Fast forward to now, I just have to take a few pills every day and if I feel any side effects, I can let my doctor know and we can try another set of medication. The medication helps to suppress the virus to a point where it is undetectable. So that's where U equals U came to being. It means undetectable equals untransmittable. I cannot transmit it to others uh, through sex. And I feel that will help us progress to eventually zero new infections in Singapore. Now the government is seeing it as a chronic condition, same as diabetes, same as other any chronic condition. So thanks to uh, subsidies, now my medication costs one-sixth of the original price. It feels great to finally understand that HIV is not me, it is a part of me because HIV is not as scary as we think. After proper treatment and proper care, we are not much different from people who don't have the condition. From what I understand about HIV back then, it was a death sentence. Fast forward to now and here, here I am. Who I am as a person is defined as what I do instead of what I have. I'm 25 years old this year, right in the middle of being a child and being an adult. I am a program coordinator at Action for Eight Singapore. And I'm very content. <laughs>